What's up guys, McCaddy here, bringing you another Are You Battle. Um, this guy very... <laughs> I don't even know what to say about his team. It is a very interesting team. I'm just going to wish him good luck, have fun. Just to be nice and, you know, hopefully he doesn't... I'm going to... I'm wishing him luck, but I'm not going to wish him too much luck. <laughs> so, um, he might need a bit of luck with this team though, we'll have to see. So, um, look at it, he's got a bulky mill tank. He may be doing a sort of maybe special defensive mill tank with a physically defensive golem. Um, he's got a uh, mean foo, which is going to be maybe like his main shell. Um, Vullaby is going to be super, super bulky. Um, I got to watch out with Polyrath with um, sub focus punch or something like that, but I should be able to handle that. And a, a haunter as well. So um, I think I'm going to leave with Hate Me, anticipating that leading. And um, he does lead with that. So I'm just going to go for a Toxic. I should be able to take a rock move reasonably well. And um, just, you know, as, as, as I normally do, just whistle him down. Um, I get the Toxic off. He's probably going to go for the rocks. I'm going to use this opportunity to get a, a Super Fang off. Because rocks don't hurt me too badly. It would be nice if I had a, a wish pass or something like that, but I just can't find space of it on my, on my team. He does go for the rock blast, which is going to be doing a decent amount. Hopefully it doesn't take me out. And it does... Ah, oh, that's a shame. That's a real shame. Um, from here, though, I can go out into... Um, let's see. I do outspeed the Haunter as well, which is, so I need to remember that. So I think... Nutcracker is actually going to be pretty useful in this one. So, um, but from here, I think I am going to actually go out into it and um, use this and just go for a. Um, let's see. Um, let's go for Shadow Ball. That should be able to take it out reasonably easily. And it does mean any anything else that does switch in does take a reasonably large hit. Um, he may be predicting the energy ball, ball or something like that, and that might give him the opportunity to get out into Haunter, but it's very, very unlikely, to be honest. So I do go for the Shadow Ball, and um, I, I'm not exactly sure what he's going to go in for, to from here. Maybe the uh, the Mill Tank, if that is his, um, his special, his special wall. Um, if he does do that, then probably I'll probably end up going out into Drud and just get my rocks up. Because um, it means he then has to go for the defog with Vullaby as well, which will also help me as well. Um, let's just see. So what else has he got? So that is, that's the most likely one I can see. I very much doubt the Polyrath. Doubt the Haunting does go out into the mean through, which does indicate that he is going to be fake out. All those shenanigans. So I'm going to go out into Drud and use this opportunity to get my own rocks up. Oh, he just goes for the U-turn. I do get the rough skin, but then he is going to just heal it back with a generator. That is unfortunate. I need to remember. So maybe, maybe this is choiced. Quite possibly. Um, it is very unfortunate as well that the gold back did go down. I didn't expect it to be doing that much. I, I think he might be, um, might be invested. So um, from here, I know this is going to be sub. What's we call it? Shenanigans. So, I'm just going to go for the Stealth Rock this time. Oh, okay. That was a very big misprediction on my part. part. Um, well, from here... Hmm. That was very bad. I didn't even realise it got Dazzling Gleam. Um, let's see. Am I going to have to... I think I'm going to have to go out into Earmuffs, but then I don't outspeed. Whereas Nutcracker doesn't that speed either. Didn't realise Haunter was that fast. Um, I'm going to go out into Drapion and I'm going to have to go for a Night Slash. Hopefully he... I think he is probably... Considering how much damage that did, he is probably Specs. Um, I should be able to take a hit from that and um, get him from there. But yeah. It's not looking too, <laughs> too great on my part. It's, it's just been quite a few surprises. Um, he does come into that, and um, he does take the Night Slash pretty well. Um, don't have too much for this, which is a little bit of a problem. Um, I'm going to have to go out into my Javelin, and um, see if he goes for, does go for the Foul Play, which isn't going to be doing too much. 
Um, I think I'm going to have to go for Dragon Pulse just because I don't want the Polyrath coming in and setting up a sub. And um, it is very likely, it looks very likely that he is, I am going to be going for that. So I go for the Dragon Pulse, which doesn't take him, isn't going to be the 2 it KO, which is unfortunate, but um, it should, yeah, which is, that is very unfortunate. But it, to be honest, none of my moves is, are going to be able to do enough damage. And I told you, as you know, as the start of the video, Vullaby is extremely, extremely bulky. So, um, like, you think Mandibuzz is bulky, but, you know, this thing really... <laughs> Okay, that the Moo, Moo comes in and Moo really does not like that. So I'm actually going to stay in because I should be able to take a hit. Um, you know, even if it is a... Um, unless it's a sort of fully... I very much doubt it's fully invested. Considering the setup of his team, I'm very... I'm convinced this is either, either a special wall or um, sort of just more of a, a bulky... I've, I, I've, yeah, that's what I would probably say. So um, we'll see what he goes for. I'm just going to go for another Dragon Pulse because I don't particularly want anything else to get powered if he does go for the um, the Body Slam. Um, he does go for the Milk Drink, but I'm just going to keep going for it. And um, I, yeah, I'm not. I'm getting. I'm not looking at the um, damage variation. I am. He is within d the damage range as well. Um, so we'll have to see what he goes for. He's in a bit of a tricky situation here because I don't think he can really swap out and um, I think I have more Dragon Pulses than he did. Um, maybe not as many Dragon Pulses as Milk Drinks, but then statistically I've got a good chance of getting a crit off. You know, if I, you know and um, doing a, a good chunk from there and putting him in a, a more precarious position. So um, I'm just going to keep going for the Dragon Pulse on it because he can't really touch me and he is going to have to either choose to attack me or try and stall me. So he does swap out into the Polyrath, this is not going to appreciate it either. Um, as I, I think I'm just going to stay in and he does go for the rest, which is an interesting move. But um, I'm just going to stay in and just <laughs> spam, spam, spam really. <laughs> he is asleep, he does go for the Circle Throw, which, oh that is a shame. So um, I go out into my Mega, um, I'm just going to go for a Psycho Cut here. I can't really afford to predict the, uh, the Vullaby coming in. Um, I should also outspeed this. It is very tempting to go for the close combat though, just predicting the um, the Vullaby switching, which I think I might do actually. Yeah, I know, I know. It, obviously, I'm going to get my defenses dropped now, but in my opinion, it was worth the risk. Um, from here, I anticipate the Haunter coming in, and um, I'm going to consider this specs for now, and. Um, I don't actually outspeed anything with Javelin anymore, so um, I think, and also I know, we know for a fact that apart from, I can still touch that with Ice Beam, but it's just a question of how much I'm going to be doing. So um, I'm going to have to go out into Javelin, I think, because I've still got um, my Meloetta with um, the Charge Beam. So I'm going to go out with my Meloetta now, predicting this to be um, uh, Scarfed. Or specs, so I'm going to go for charge beam here. And as he goes into the mill tank, and um, from there, I'm going to go for a hyper voice. The charge beam is going to come in useful against that Vullaby as well. So um, I think if he does come out with the um, the haunter again, I'm going to have to save this. I think. If he goes down to the main foo, I'm in a little bit of trouble. Because it's probably going to be. It looks like it's scarfed. From, by the looks of it. And he's probably going to go for another U turn. Um, so it may, I may have to go out into my Drapion. He does leave with the main foo. So I'm going to have to go out into my earmuffs to take the hit. Because Nutcracker at the minute seems to be my win condition. Because I resist both the stabs and I've got a foot salt vest. But the Vullaby, at the, the level of health it is, I should be able to take it out with a the combination of a Charge Beam and then, even if he does roost up, a Hyper Voice should be able to take him out from there. Um, I'd like to keep Mega Gallade just because it's got, uh, keep Gallade because it's also got the Shadow Sneak for the Haunter and it's AV as well. But, um, so at the minute, um, Drapion is currently the least valuable Pokemon on my team. So he does go for the U-turn. Um, 
I think, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to take a hit from Haunter from here. But, um, so, it, but if he does go out to the Vullaby, I'm just going to have to keep cross-poisoning until I get that poison off on him. So he goes for the U-turn. Um, I'm guessing the Haunter's probably going to come in. But, um, but yeah, it's, I, I quite like, I, I have a lot of respect for this guy because he is using some really weird sets and it is you know it's working it's it's unexpected sets as well for example like the haunter being specs that completely threw me off guard i expected it to be more of the sort of sub disable which is mo the main reason why people use um haunter in the lower tiers if that makes sense it's a sort of a mini gengar so um yeah i've got respect for this guy <laughs> um he does go out into the volibee i'm going to have to go for cross poison just crit 50% chance for a crit, which I don't get. Um, I've now got to just keep going, and I've got to hope for the poison, really. I know it's only 10% chance, unfortunately. Okay, no, this is not too bad. I'm going to go for a... Um, I'm going to have to go for Hyper Voice. I can't... Unfortunately, with the Whirlwind, I, I, I need as much damage off on this as possible. So I'm going to go for the Hyper Voice. That does a lot less than I expected. It does go for the Foul Play, but I do have another chance to switch back in which is good. So, um, I'm going to have to go for another Hyper Voice. Um, uh, unfortunately, he does predict the switch. And, um, from that point there, both of my Pokemon should do at speed, and also they should be able to take that, um, that Volibee out. So, Nutcracker has kind of done its job. So, I'm going to go for a Psy Shock. There's a chance to speed, but I don't. He goes to the Dazzling Gleam, um... Let's see. That's how much... We have to look at the bulk of Haunter. It only has 45 defense, so I think I'm gonna have to go out to Gallade and Shadow Sneak. And, um, I am AV, so there is a very slight chance I'm gonna live this. But... There is also a chance I am going to take this out as well, because, I mean, it's not got, it's got pretty terrible bulk, as you can see just there. So, um, we'll have to see. Even if he does swap out into the main field, I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue, because I should be able to take a hit from that. It does go out into the, um, the voodoo, and, um, uh, another shadow sneak from there, should be able to take it out. Um, from here, um, I anticipate the main food coming in, and, um, let's see, because the Drapion is not going to be able to take another hit. I kind of need this, because I'm pretty sure Shadow Sneak does kill. Okay, so we're going to have to, we're going to have to hope Shadow Sneak kills here, which doesn't. Shadow Ball isn't going to take me out. I thought that the, um... You know, the, uh, what's we call it, the Assault Vest would definitely come in handy there. Um, but from here, Shadow Sneak should take him out. I'll get a bit of damage off on the main foo with Shadow Sneak, but it just depends whether Drapion's natural bulk will be enough to actually take a hit from, um, the main foo. So, um, I'll go for another Shadow Sneak, even if he does decide to switch out. It's the only, it's, it's my only option, really. Um, if he is clever, he would swap out, but I can't really afford not, no, I can't really afford to, to you know, to, uh, predict him to switch. Or can I? Can I, can I, can I? I think I can, because if he does switch out, yes, if he does switch out, then I still take him out. Shadow Snake will still kill that, and then, hmm. Because Shadow Ball's not going to be doing much to that. If he does then switch, have to switch. No, because then he switches back in and he just goes for Dazzling Gleam. Um, just depends what he's going to go for. So if he stays in, I Shadow Sneak will kill him. That comes in, that kills me. There's a chance it kills me. If he does swap out, then there's no way I can win. So it is down to whether I Shadow Sneak or um, Psycho Cut. I think I'm going to have to go for the Psycho Cut. Just predicting. Yes. Yes, please. Please cancel button. Yes. Yes. 
Oh, that was a that was a tense moment there. All down to that cancel button. And um, from here it's GG. But yeah, that was that was a <laughs> a tense ending to that battle. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys at the next uh, battle. If you enjoyed the video and want to keep up with my latest content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Carry out.